All right, let's talk to Logan and Adam. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Tell me about your concept here. OK, so this guy, Joey Petto, his wife leaves him, so he wants to end it. We're like, no, 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 we know this guy, Bob Goldsmith. He made this doll. You should get into it. So I go to this place, Philosopher's Stones. I get him some rock. Wouldn't you know it, this thing comes to life. Fortunately, there is no extent of goofy storytelling that will make this any better than it is. It is exceedingly problematic. It's not asymmetrical. It's just crooked and wonky. That said, you really did try to accomplish a lot of work. It just doesn't come out in an intelligible way for me, either visually or with the story. It's like a stone version of Popeye had a stroke, and I just don't get it. It doesn't resemble anything stone. I mean, I see that you have the strings on there for where the marionette could have been, but, you know, it's like you're getting too goofy, guys. Not only is it visually not funny, it's also not very well crafted. As soon as you made the decision to go this humorous route, that's where you came off the rails. Logan and Adam, if you please head back. Thanks, dear. You did a great job. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And for everything face off, visit sci fi.com right here.